Welcome to the Sage Pastor Accounting How-To Video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to register your Sage Pastor Accounting software using the in-app online registration function. Please note that you can only use the in-app online registration function if you are registering a single user or the machine that will be the Sage Pastel server. You will also require a valid internet connection. Firstly, open your Sage Pastel accounting program. If you are registering your Sage Pastel accounting program for the first time, the registration assistant wizard will open automatically, welcoming you to Pastel, and it will advise you that the assistant will guide you through the process of registering your software, as well as give you a little bit of information about the registration. Once you have read all of the information, click on Next. The registration type screen will display. Please select the top option, Single User Server Registration, and click on Next. The registration detail screen will display. Select the option Register Online and where you see base serial number, enter the base serial number that was provided to you on your invoice and by registered name, enter the company registered name. Once you have entered the serial number and registered name, click on Next. The web registration screen will display. You will receive a message to please make sure you have accepted the terms and conditions of the annual license agreement before completing the registration process. Click on OK and you will see that you will have two buttons. One, accept terms and conditions and the other, complete registration. You will not be able to complete the registration if you do not accept the terms and conditions. Click on Accept Terms and Conditions and the Sage Pastel Terms and Conditions screen. You will then need to select your industry type by clicking the drop down button and select your industry type from the list that displays and enter the number of employees. You then need to fill in the main contact person's title, surname and name, designation, telephone number and email as well as the managing director or owner's details and financial director's details. You can also choose to copy the main contact to the managing director and owner and financial director. Once you have filled in your contacts, you would need to enter the company contacts, telephone number, fax number and email address, as well as the company's physical address and postal address. Once you have filled in all the company details, you will then need to enter the full name, ID or passport number, email address and designation of the person responsible for paying the annual license fee. Once you have filled in all the relevant information, tick the option, I have downloaded the debit order document. You can download the debit order document by clicking on debit order displayed in green. You also need to select the option, I accept the terms and conditions. If you would like to read the terms and conditions, click on the green terms and conditions. Once all the information is filled and you have ticked both options, click on submit. If you did not fill in all the mandatory fields, you will receive a list of fields that need to be filled in. Please click on OK and the mandatory fields will display in red. Please fill in all the necessary information before clicking on Submit again. Once all the information has been filled in correctly, you will receive a message that you have successfully submitted your form and should receive an email confirmation shortly, as well as where the email was sent to and a reference number should you need to query the information sent. You will also receive your account number and be advised that you can close this window. Once you close the window, you can then click on the option to complete the registration. But before you do so, please ensure that the product type, company name, base serial number and access code are all correct. Please also ensure that if you have purchased any add-on modules, these modules have been added. You can do this by entering the serial number from your invoice and clicking on add this module. Once you have added all the modules and all the information is correct, you can click on Complete Registration. 
The registration code will be filled in automatically and you will see your access code. Click on Next. The summary screen will display advising you of the registered name, the server name, the number of users, the number of companies, your registration expiry date, your country, the pervasive engine you are registered for, your customer number, as well as the registration code and base serial number. Under Modules, you can scroll down to ensure that all the modules you have purchased are displaying correctly. If all the information is correct, you can then click on Next. The Registration Complete screen will display advising you that you have successfully registered your package. Click on Finish and close your Sage Pasta Accounting program and reopen it. Once your Sage Pasta Accounting program opens, click on Help and About and ensure that all the information is displaying correctly and that your expiry date is in line with your annual license fee. Click on OK to close the screen and you are now ready to start working in your Sage Pastel Accounting program.